Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and welcome to another episode of my What Is It series, and this is number 54B, The Answer. Make sure you go back and watch 54A, The Question. Okay, I've got six items here, donated by several different people, so let's get on with it, with starting with number one. Okay, this item was donated by Lewis Howard, and he's down in Texas. I don't even dare say that name because somebody just likes to pick the video apart and say that you mispronounced a word, you know, which is so irrelevant. They make no mention to, of what the video is really about. Now, because of the G-U-N hysteria in this country, i got to be careful what words I use and what I show, but look right here and you'll see that this is for... Bill's company here, <laughs> and it holds a Red Hawk, you know what, with the grips taken off, and I think this is just part of it, but it's used for target practice, or I should say setting the sights, and it would go in a, to a rocker with these trunnions here, and the height could be adjusted and so on, so you get the point. You can tell by the shape of this really what it is, but uh, only one or two people actually knew what this uh, was, and thank you for all the good guesses and uh, the funny ones as well. Item two here is a wrench. It's a Briggs & Stratton wrench used to take the starter clutch off. You can see how that would uh, fit this particular part. And I did teach small engines for a while, and this was a great tool. And... <laughs> You know, there'd be, there's balls inside of this clutch, and uh, there'd be balls all over the floor. I had to buy these little ball bearings by the five-gallon bucket. They were everywhere, and then the kids would take them so they could throw them or put them in their pea shooter or something like that. But this is interesting. This would be used with another wrench then or a socket, but let me show you some alternatives to that as well. So there's the flywheel wrench, the long one, and then... This tool and this tool really did the same thing. I think this one was probably cheaper to buy. Briggs and Stratton used to donate boxes and boxes of these nice manuals to the high school, so they, they were really into education, but in taking a, a Briggs apart of a certain series, I, I don't remember the, the number of this series, but there is a wrench being used for the same purpose and then you can see here well there, there were two varieties there's the one that's really in question but I also have one of these and then there was a flywheel wrench here and that would keep you from breaking the fins off of the uh, flywheel but uh, oh wrong wrong many many fins were broken off but only because they wouldn't use that two screwdrivers and a hammer. I really got no definitive answers on what this tool is. Copper up here, I had some foolish and funny uh, answers. And you know, somebody just gave me a, an enraged comment saying, if you don't know what they are, why'd you put them on there? So I think some people are drunk or high because they say nasty things that you probably wouldn't say face to face, you know, almost from uncivilized people. But we don't really know what this is. It's quality, though. This is insulated. Now, sometimes I get an answer in the follow-up video that you're watching. So, uh, because there's somebody that didn't watch the first one. So, be sure and read through the comments, because sometimes we do get an answer later on. This is a bullet cedar. Cedar. Looks like a quality tool, and uh, one Mr. Richard Williams sent me a nice email explaining what it is, and thank you to him, and I will put that on the screen right now so that uh, you can tell uh, what it is. It's a little beyond me because that's just my, not my area of expertise, so here's the letter. Pause your video if you need to. This is such a unique tool, but there is 
no answer. Nobody really knew what this is, and I don't myself. So it is made in China. John sent that to me, so if anyone knows, you can put it in the comments. My friend Ted is a dentist and gave this to me along with a piece of latex. I don't know what happened to that. Thank you, Ted. And several other dentists that watch this uh, video series of mine, I, I did know what it was, but it's a dental dam punch. So when the dentist works on you and puts that piece of rubber in your mouth or latex, whatever it is, this, I guess, punches a hole for the tooth or something and it gives him a dry area to work. It causes me to choke when the dentist does that. And I choke even more when they, I have to pay the $2,000 bill because I have no insurance. <laughs> but that's what this thing is. It's a dental tool, stainless steel. I bet that thing costs 400 bucks. No wonder the dentist has to charge me so much. I'm sure all of the tools and equipment and the staff that they have in the average dentist's office really drives that price up. I don't know what poor people do. Thank you for watching and thank you for commenting. Be sure and watch the other videos in this series. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now and I'll see you next time.